All right, guys, we just rolled into the next one, and boy, do we have a challenge on our hands today. All right, guys, here's what we got going today. This is uh, about a two acre lake built, uh, I, full disclosure, I did not build this lake. It was built about four years ago. But the uh, problem seems to be in this region here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a large section of this dam has slid off. Uh, a little bit of sure why. It's even slid way down in there. So we're just gonna kind of uh, take our time, pick through this thing, see if we can figure out what's going on, try to get her to put back and stay. Hopefully, the, the ironic part is it's not leaking at all. Uh, we're thinking maybe the toe of the dam down there is on some rocks. So we're going to stretch some topsoil down there and uh, see what we got. We brought in the expert. You're going to introduce the expert? Oh, you talking about me? No, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Who's this guy? I don't know. I don't know where he found him. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who kicked him up. Yeah, I did wake him up this morning. So, this is Popeye, which is his dad. How many years of experience you got, Popeye? 39 39 years yeah. so you worked with my dad and a few others you worked with a lot of my family in excavating business yep yep so we brought him in for an extra opinion jerry's back there on the dozer somewhere he's inspecting aaron's work making sure his brake pedal works good so we're gonna tie in down below get us a bench in there and uh see what we got that's right yeah I, I hear you <laughs> i don't know how much you guys can see that sun is right in our eyes this morning Jerry's over here to my right. He's stripping uh, topsoil or what topsoil he can. I'm trying to think a little bit of a key way in here to kind of get just a little bit of a glance down into here to see what we got. I think we may have found what's part of our problem, and it's a pretty shallow rock shelf here. It looks like this uh, ground uh, is leaving a little bit of clay sitting on top of some rock kind of uh, sloughed off here so we get this trench dug out here a little bit and then we'll hop down in there and take a look at it but it's looking to be uh looking to be pretty consistent at this point the sun is bright and it is already hot figured out what was going on we dug a little bit of a test hole here and basically if you guys can see that gray stuff over there that's what we call soapstone it gets extremely extremely slick when it gets wet for whatever reason it gets wet but uh, soapstone is sitting on top of solid rock that's solid rock right there and it's uh basically sliding on that rock so what we're gonna do i don't know this is not the best examples of this to be honest with you but it's what i got here in front of me so what the plan is is we're going to cut a keyway across here get that soapstone i don't know if you can see i don't want to get down that hole because that wall sliding you see right there the thin layer of it it's just creeping across that rock now over here for the most part it's out it's a little bit right there but we're going to cut a keyway across here and get good clay compacted in here and that'll act as a backstop and we're gonna bench our way up the hill so Jerry's getting my bench strip for me so I can start digging with the excavator I'll start cutting the keyway across here I believe we're gonna go up on the hill there and see if we can find some good clay or some better material Aaron's gonna go get the vibratory roller we'll put it in in here and lifts and compact the crap out of it hopefully that'll give us a good base good foundation and then we'll start working our way up the hill from there But 
you can see that uh, layer of soapstone right there. That's where it slid down. This here hasn't moved at all, so that's what we're gonna use to build our chalk to lock into. So we're gonna disturb that layer right there so it's not lubricated where it can't slide off. So Jerry's about got it uh, stripped out in front of us enough to where we can we can tie into it and start doing our thing here. So make her happen. All right, guys, we started getting our trench going here. I'm gonna have Jerry, uh, I wanna make sure that trench is as wide as a dozer. And it looks like I did a pretty good job of that. I just wanna make sure wherever we go, that way if that trench is as wide as that dozer, we can go in there and uh, layer that in real nice when it comes time to uh, put lifts in there and roll it. But uh, that old dozer fits like a glove. guys here's kind of where we're at we got the trench cut down through there it's looking pretty good the uh we're about half the distance we need to go i think what we decided we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start getting this field and compacted i don't want to take a chance of weakening that anymore what we need to once we get that field and compacted we'll continue on uh through here a little bit farther we probably need to go about the other side of that so uh, i think this is really good material up here on the dam so I think we're just gonna flop this over, compact it, and then we'll push that back up when we're done. Most of that's decent. It's just got that layer of not so good stuff in there, which is our problem child. So we're uh, we're getting there. So if you 
you guys can see over my shoulder to Jerry's way and somehow get material down. And I am 100% in the way. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, Jerry. I got no wait on nobody. Jerry's got some really good material coming down off that dam. It's gonna work great for down here, sealing off this rock. I don't have a second dozer here, so I'm just kind of doing what I can with, uh, with this. I cannot come close to keeping up with Jerry in that 850, especially pushing downhill, but I keep ahead of him a little bit, keep him rolling. That's the view I got out my side window. So it's nice seeing the big dozer coming down the hill at you. We'll get her laid in there and then we'll get down. Hopefully Aaron's here pretty quick with that roller. <clears throat> Pushed quite a bit of dirt down in there with the excavator, but it just started getting inefficient. So uh, I got out of Jerry's way. He's coming back with a dozer. I need to reach down there and grab that ball of clay out of there. Hopefully he'll get a shove down here where I can get it. the good stuff and grab the bad stuff. in a nutshell we dug all that old dirt out threw it over there put about a foot of new dirt in with the dozer <clears throat> and air is back with a vibratory roller and you can see that stuff there is compacted really nice really nice we'll get this all compacted in real nice we'll come in put another foot of dirt on top of this and go again and hopefully that'll be a good chalk here and then basically we're going to go up the hill offset and do the whole system over again we got weather threatening so we're kind of kind of in a hurry to get this done and uh jerry's capping off this pile so it'll shed water instead of suck up water so that's what he's doing up there we can still use this material we just don't want to use it in a crucial spot like this
just so everybody knows this job right here this thing it's the main piece of equipment on this job look who they got running it that's right so i guess after he gets done he's gonna let me know and i guess i'm gonna go up and do a little more rolling in there getting it compacted we'll probably do one more lift then we'll jump up the hill and start doing a new bench where the uh excavators out there but it's uh it's going pretty good so far i get my picture for uh instagram gotta have that this is where a little bit of experience and i'm not claiming to be an expert by no means i don't know if you guys can see right here the dirt has changed considerably just a few inches and that dirt right there is not worth a crap compared to this dirt that's on top of it. I'm assuming this dirt that's on top of it most likely comes from the inside of the pond there digging the hole and that crap dirt was probably the old grave that they put this good dirt on top of and that's part of the problem over sliding. So what I'm trying to do now is get this good dirt cleaned off the top of it. Oh, you see the difference over there? Look at that compared to what I'm digging right here. See the difference between this and that? What I'm trying to do is, is save as much of this good dirt as I can, get down there in our trench. We're gonna take that not so good dirt, 
and put it in a location. It still it'll still work for what we're doing. But I don't want to put it in a critical location like these volunteer benches. So it's a lot of extra work shoveling this dirt around, but I don't want to come back here and do this again next spring. So uh, we're gonna separate those out and try to keep the, the best of the best dirt down here in these volunteer steps. As we get up top, closer to the top, we're not really going to have much of a choice but to uh, use some of it. But hopefully by then, by the time we do it two or three times, it'll be mixed in with some of this better stuff. So it'll kind of neutralize it a little bit. Gary's pushing some over here too, and I got a little far out of reach on some of it. Pretty happy with the way this is going back so far. I just hope the weather holds out. It's a hot and humid day, and we're going to be risking the chance of uh, pop up downpours basically. So uh, we'll take our time here and kind of carve through it and see what we got. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because I don't want a rain to catch us and undo everything we've already done. So we're trying to do it in baby steps or little steps at a time where we can cap it off and control water uh, if we end up getting one of those heavy rains. Liking what I'm seeing, loving the blade. I'm definitely loving the air conditioning. I'm feeling a little guilty. Aaron's down there on that roller. That roller is so hot. Terry don't really care. He just seems not be in the air conditioning. I got the door open, but let me tell you, she's blowing cold. And I like it. guys here's where we're at Aaron I think it's the fifth lift in there we pretty much got that one up to um, elevation we got this bench here uh, we got the good dirt off of it getting ready to dig the bad dirt out of there uh, Jerry's over there on the topsoil pile he's basically doing what we call capping the pile uh, he might park in his way there I don't know who that is storm coming here so uh, instead of uh, continuing progress on we're kind of in uh, weatherization mode uh, the reason he taps that pile like that is it keeps the water from absorbing into it it actually sheds it off of it you know if we go to push it back later it won't be near as wet uh, this here should drain out we're going to do something with that bank there to uh, make sure it stays and don't come down but basically going to be kind of in a holding pattern here for a short period of time see what this uh See what this weather does but so far so good it's um it's coming along coming along pretty nice all right guys we did get a get a lot on the radar here and we're pretty much in button down the hatch mode i don't know if you can see over there there's a severe line of storms that's coming straight at us it's not pretty so jerry's gonna get everything rolled over tracked in and get it fortified the best we can let the rain pass and see what we got so a little bit of luck we'll catch you guys tomorrow all right guys a little bit of a spoiler alert this is actually the next day and as you guys can see it is dry miraculously somehow we missed all the rain it rained north of us it rained south it rained east it rained west but it missed us here on the job site but uh, i did get a tremendous amount of good video on this job and i don't want to make these videos too long i do not want to cut anything out so we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up here and uh, we'll catch you guys the next day on the next one you'll see some more cool video like this this was uh quite the undertaking this is a pretty good size little uh, job for the excavation company of my size uh, a lot of stuff goes on we run into a few surprises and um yeah hopefully you guys come back and watch the next video or two because uh, some pretty cool stuff happens so guys as always hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment you can also find us on facebook and instagram and guys we shall catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.